Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to navigate around the course and the lessons within it. So let's go to the library and choose, as an example, major scale. Then let's go to the Dorian modes. And then let's scroll to the seven note scales. Key one. So this page now gives us an overview of the course and gives us a list of the lessons included within that course. You can see the playing level, confirmation of the key, and the section showing the students involved with the course. This is a list of the lessons and the attachments to those lessons, with tracks and documents, links, etc. So let's go to lesson one. So this is a typical layout of a lesson. We'll start over in the right hand corner. This is where you'll see the attachments. You can click on these to download tracks or use the link buttons to go and see other documents or videos. I'd like to draw your attention now to this section. This shows the list of lessons. There are actually three lessons here, but they're replicated for each of the different pitched instrument types, B flat, E flat. So as an example, if you were an alto saxophone player, you'd use the E flat lessons clarinet, trumpet, tenor sax, you'd use the B-flat, for guitar, piano, etc., you'd use the normal concert-pitched lessons. They're the same lessons, only transposed accordingly. Notice here as well, every course has a Learn by Listening section, which has links to classic tracks, albums, and musicians. OK, most of the lessons are laid out in a very similar way, you get the general information at the top, which you can toggle through. And notice that if you hover over any of the coloured text, you will get a brief description and also a link for more information. In this case, it goes to Wikipedia. Then we have the audio section beneath here. And then the main body of the lesson itself. Also notice you can interact with other students or members of the staff to ask questions or post comments. Lesson two. So again, you can see the same information at the top. Now we have four audio tracks with the downloadable tracks replicated here. You'll notice also in the tab section that you'll get different transcription scores. In this particular case, it's a piano score. If you scroll to the bottom here, You've got the option to print or save, change the size, etc. OK, let's go to lesson three now. You can see here now we have four different tracks also available to download. If you need further information, you'll be able to find it from the help video section at the top of the page. 